Amazon has announced that it has fulfilled its promise to eliminate all single-use plastic in its packaging across fulfillment centers in India. Reuters reported the e-commerce giant saying that it has swapped packaging materials such as bubble wraps and air pillows with paper cushions as well as plastic tapes with other biodegradable options. The company had said last September that its India unit would replace single-use plastic in its packaging by June 2020, following Prime Minister Modi's call to end its nationwide usage by 2022. Researchers from MIT have developed a new robotic system that powerfully disinfects surfaces and neutralizes aerosolized forms of the coronavirus. But these can be expensive and time-consuming when disinfecting large warehouses and even dangerous for humans to be exposed. With this in mind, MIT's Computer Science and Artificial Intelligence Laboratory teamed up with AVA Robotics to build an autonomous robot that's capable of mapping the space and navigating between waypoints and other specified areas. A custom UVC-like fixture was added to the mobile robot base that uses short wavelength ultraviolet light to kill microorganisms and disrupt their DNA in a process called ultraviolet germicidal irradiation. The prototype drove through a warehouse at about 0.22 miles per hour and the research Researchers claim could cover about 4,000 square feet in half an hour and neutralize about 90% of the coronavirus particles on surfaces. Oppo has launched a new true wireless earbuds, the Enco W11 in India. They come with bean-shaped in-ear design, an enhanced bass and an 8mm dynamic driver speaker with support for AAC codec. For connectivity, there's Bluetooth 5.0, which automatically resumes connection when the user gets in 10 meters of the connected device. The touch control feature allows users to play, pause, change tracks, pick and end calls, raise Google Assistant and adjust the volume. The buds are IP55 water and dust resistant and offer noise cancellation during phone calls. The earbuds come with a Type-C charging port and offer 5 hours of continuous music playback on a single charge with a total battery duration of up to 20 hours. The Oppo Enco W11 has gone on sale via Flipkart for 2,499 rupees. Samsung India has tweeted that the BTS-themed Galaxy S20 Plus will be coming to India next month, the pre-booking for which will start from July 1st. A couple of weeks ago, Samsung unveiled the BTS editions of the Galaxy S20 Plus 5G, Galaxy S20 Plus and the Galaxy Buds Plus in collaboration with the K-pop music group BTS. These devices come in the signature BTS Purple, have their logo and the Purple Heart iconography and come with BTS-themed packaging and goodies. The pricing and availability of the limited edition phone haven't been revealed yet and it isn't clear whether Samsung plans to launch the BTS-themed Galaxy Buds Plus. But the BTS edition of the S20 Plus could cost a little more than the standard version which costs 77,999 rupees. Snap, the company behind the popular social media platform Snapchat, has announced the launch of Spectacles 2 and Spectacles 3 in India. The second and third generation of Snap's smart glasses will go on sale via Flipkart from July 4th at a price of 14,999 rupees and 29,999 rupees respectively. The spectacles come with built-in camera lenses on each side of the frame which allow users to capture photos or videos and upload them directly to their Snapchat account using a connected smartphone. The Spectacles 2 features a water-resistant body, 4G of internal storage, dual microphone array and can capture up to 70 videos on a single charge. The Spectacle 3 comes with a new minimalistic frame, can even capture 3D photos and videos at 60 frames per second and has four built-in microphones for better audio quality. Both the Spectacles feature Bluetooth, Wi-Fi and record videos in a circular format. Realme has announced a new color variant, that blue, for its Narzo 10 smartphone. It'll go on sale from June 30th at the same price of 11,999 rupees via Flipkart and Realme.com. To recall, the Realme Narzo 10 
was launched in the country last month in that green and that white color options. It features a 6.5-inch HD Plus display with a water drop notch. It's powered by the Helio G80 processor paired with a 4GB RAM and 128GB storage along with a dedicated microSD card slot for storage expansion. In terms of optics, there's a 48-megapixel quad rear camera setup and a 16-megapixel front-facing shooter. The phone also gets a 5000 mAh battery with 18-watt quick charge support and reverse charging. It also has a USB-C port and an audio jack and ships with Android 10 pre-installed. Realme has now started selling its first smartwatch, the Realme Watch, on open sale in India via Flipkart and Realme.com after multiple flash sales earlier this month. Priced at Rs 3,999 rupees, the Realme Watch features a 1.4 inch color touchscreen, a 3 axis accelerometer, and a PPG sensor for real time heart rate monitoring. It comes with 14 different sports modes and a SpO2 sensor to track blood oxygen levels. The Realme Watch shows notification alerts and can be used to unlock your phone or remotely control your music or camera sensors. It's got Bluetooth 5.0, an IP68 rating and a 160mAh battery that is claimed to deliver 7 days of usage. Adidas has launched a new workout-ready RPD-01 headphones, expanding beyond its usual sportswear offerings. They feature a silicon leg band active lifestyle design that ensures IPX4 rated water resistance and sweat-proof and splash-proof qualities. They come with ergonomic foam ear tips as well as optional rubber ear wings for secure fit. Adidas promises up to 12 hours of music playback on a single charge that supports USB-C fast charging. It has also built in a three-button remote control to allow quick replay or track skipping along with the ability to create custom shortcuts with the action button. The Adidas RPD01 neckband earphones are available for £79.99 in the United Kingdom in light grey, night grey and green tint colour options. The Indian availability hasn't been confirmed yet. A new investor report has pointed to the possibility of Apple leaving out its bundled wired earphones from the retail box for its 2020 iPhone. The investor note also added that the iPhone 12 series will not include a power adapter either and will only ship with the USB Type-C to Lightning cable, forcing buyers to purchase a particular power adapter that the firm sells. Analyst Ming-Chi Ko has also predicted the move away from the bundled accessory as a way for Apple to push customers into buying their wireless AirPods. With Apple reportedly behind schedule for this year's iPhones, the new series is expected to be launched in September like usual, but a few models may begin going on sale only in October. Sony has launched a bug bounty program for its PlayStation devices with critical vulnerabilities offering payouts that start as high as $50,000 or around 38 lakh rupees. While the program was previously restricted to private researchers, Sony has partnered with HackerOne to open the bug bounty up to the public. Low priority issues for the PS4 start at $500, while PlayStation Network issues start out as low as $100. In the last 90 days, the program has reportedly paid out $173,900 in bounties, with over 100 reports submitted. Xiaomi has reportedly started rolling out the stable version of its latest MIUI 12 operating system to 13 smartphones in China, which include the Mi 10, a Mi 9, a Redmi K30 and Redmi K20 series. However, there is no information on when the Indian devices will get the latest MIUI 12 update. To recall, the MIUI 12 was officially launched in April 2020 as a custom skin on top of either Android 9.0 or Android 10. It brings plenty of new animations and visualizations, an improved system-wide dark mode, dynamic always-on display and more sophisticated privacy controls that will allow the permissions to be used only while using the app. The new ROM features, new floating windows for multitasking, a built-in universal casting tool and an ultra battery saver mode. 